Say, Nick, I know you wanted me to introduce this uh, this episode about uh, in a way that that talked about video games. Uh huh. But I realized that we hadn't talked about they're made of meat yet. Oh, well, that's relevant. Yeah, because he's made of meat. Exactly. <laughs> so this is Instant Replay Live. We're going to talk about how we're made of meat. <laughs> um, so squishy. Yeah. Oh, we're just flapping our meats at each other. Oh, we've already done that. <laughs> Have we? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you man. were. Um, you started an episode with uh, meat flapping in the wind. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Um, oh, but yes, so yeah. Um, great internet short um, about two. Uh, it look, they look like normal people mm-hmm. who are at a diner. Um, they're very like straight backed and strict and stern, almost uh, behavior styles and well dressed. And they're talking about humans and how disgusting it is that we're made of meat. <laughs> they're made of meat. Um, it's a, just a really fun little like sci-fi twist comedy bit um, in a short film. And uh, it's probably called They're Made of Meat because I don't actually know. This wasn't a conversation I was prepared for. It so, is. I believe it is called They're Made of Meat. Yeah, that, that would make sense. Um, something worth checking out if you're if you're bored on the YouTubes after this you know don't leave Super Meat Boy for They're Made of Meat tail end off of Super Meat Boy <laughs> into They're Made of Meat um, the guy from that actually is uh, the guy from Cash Cab whoa, that was interesting oh really? yeah whoa I it's know been, right? it's been a long time since I've seen it I didn't realize that was him but is now Ben something? is it Ben? yeah that feels wrong no I think it is a Ben but I don't know his last name. His comedic timing is brilliant. Yeah, I mean, in Cash Cow, he's, so he's, he's brilliant as a comedian too. Yeah, that's a that's a fun show. He's got those uh, those the office gym looks that are perfect for the camera. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a pretty good Jim Halpert description. Jim Halpert, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, oh he's awesome. Has he been in anything else? Um, I I think he's done some more like Discovery Channel or like documentary stuff, but I don't know about any like. Non, any other shows or yeah. movies or anything. Yeah. Like, so he doesn't think of himself. He's done some stand-up, which is really good. Oh yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen it. Do you, do you have anything you can uh, quote <laughs> to put you on the spot and make you feel oh no really no. embarrassed? I definitely can't. Because I, I don't. He's not. It's not one of those. It's not one of those quotable stand up It's like story stand-up. You know, like I mean, I, I try to think of. Uh, I was gonna say Eddie Izzard, kind of, because it's the long setup. But Eddie Izzard has some really quotable stuff. Oh T my and gosh, cake yes. or death. T yeah. and cake. Or, this is a hard one. Yeah. Cake or death? Cake or death? Uh, I'll take the cake. <laughs> yeah, I love Eddie. Eddie is odd. You have to say it right. You can't just, uh, you can't call him Izzard. He's is odd. Mm. Yeah. My, one of my best friends from high school I actually did a, for a um, public speaking competition. He did the uh, the whole entire like stand up bit. Wow. For uh, yeah. Which one? The the one that includes uh, tea and cake or death. Um, okay. And the giraffes, the. <laughs> I'm an evil herbivore. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm eating all the leaves, so no one else will be able to eat them. But I can't remember what that one was called. You can't make that jump. Uh, no, <laughs> there's gotta, there's, yeah, there's you gotta here. rock it up. Whoop. Oh, nice. There you go. Oh, and there's a little yeah, warp yeah. world that you're not going into. Nah. <laughs> warp worlds be tough. An extra tough time. There's just there's already enough content in this. This is the oh, okay. So I gotta like get the full launch off of this thing. Whoa! Nice. Yes. Uh, Izzard, Last I heard about him was going into like politics. Oh really? In the That's UK. Wonderful. In the UK, of course. Um, and I don't know that he has gone back to comedy or not gone back to comedy. I, I don't know where he's at. I feel like I need to like follow up. There was a period in my life where like. I wanted to be his comedy style, like, all the time. And I, uh, I listened to all of his acts on, um, on Netflix. Um, so when I say a period, I mean, like, within the last five years. <laughs> uh, I think it probably was right at five years ago, in fact. Um, but I just, I wanted to be that witty so bad that I would listen to all of his stuff. And if you listen enough, I mean, you just subconsciously adopt a way of speaking, even if I'm not nearly as funny as him, saying things kind of like him is funny in and of itself. Yeah. Like, he's got just that, that perfect cadence to that, his voice. That 
Izzard charm. Yeah. Um, um, have you seen The Riches? Where he plays yes. a co- he yeah. part of a con family? Oh, it's, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know that the show ever really finished properly. The second season kind of petered off for me, but the setup of that show was really just wonderful. Whoa. The setup? Oh, you, you think the setup was good? Yeah. The, like, the establishment of their family and... See, I... I feel like it was really kind of hokey and gimmicky. Um, just anything with, like... Those people, they didn't look like gypsies. They didn't feel right. I know like gypsies is not gypsies. the the Romani is a <laughs> or, or wandering people or other terms like that are more appropriate. But they called them gypsies in the show. Um, but uh, it just didn't feel it didn't feel right somehow. Um, and. Uh, well, I, get, I mean, yeah, I can see that, but there are also gypsies who are said, constantly watched... playing parts, right? You know? Yeah. Like, of so they're they're not they're they're supposed to look Americanized because I mean, apart from well, America, I get, were they American in that or were they? Uh, was it? Yes, weren't they? He had a, yeah, he had yeah. an American accent the whole series, um, which was weird. Yeah. Uh, but but he did a good job with it, um, and I I watched the entire series, like <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter that I felt like the the setup was a little hokey. I still enjoyed it. I'm just kind of. I think it was a little different, you know, than what you sort of presented. I uh, I don't think it was that for me personally. Obviously, I mean, you can still enjoy it all you want, <laughs> you know. You but, have the right to be wrong. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, I jumped right into that missile. <laughs> I like these new mechanics. It's just such a great development of. The, the game introduces things nice and right, right at the right pace and then yeah. amps it up. You know, For being so challenging, the game is constantly refreshing your, your energy for it nice. by introducing the right the right setup of new mechanics. Yeah. Oop. That's always a good conversation for, like, Ego Raptor's sequelitis videos when he's talking yeah. about, like, teaching you. And, and this game doesn't ever do the, like, hey, listen! Yeah. <laughs> the big pop-up teach you. It teaches you through play, which is... Wonderful. I mean, it's hard to ever say that controller tutorials are wrong because some games just have such like really complex controls. Yeah. yeah. But the, I mean, the 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 thing is, that I think that's one of the reasons why games like Zelda do so well because they don't have that many tutorials like things like that. But they add in the layers of the controller later on. Well, but like Ocarina of Time had because it was like one of the earliest... And it added in the, the camera control. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. It was one of the earliest 3D games. Um, oh, especially an earliest 3D game for, like, mass market appeal on a console. Um, it needed those, but they are also... I mean, who doesn't think Navi is incredibly annoying? Oh, I love Navi. But who doesn't think her popping up is incredibly annoying? No, I mean, I, I really like Navi. Like, you don't think she was annoying ever? I No, I don't. I think Kapora Kapora Kapor was annoying. So, and, and, and I, I know I'm wrong in this. I also love Midna, though. Like, <laughs> I know I'm wrong. Um, okay, as long as you can admit that, I'm totally cool with it. That's fine. It's, but, I mean, like, you know, it's one of those things. Uh, it's, it's, it's your companion through the adventure. And I, I am a sucker for, you know, I don't know, video game companionship. Um, and just the, the idea of, you know, having your, your comrade in, the, in all of the fray. Because there's a big difference between a game like Dead Space, where the, the thrill is that you're isolated and alone. Mm-hmm. And then games like Shadow of the Colossus, where this horse is your your companion through the adventure. Yeah. Um, oh, man. And... <sighs> oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Did you... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't even know what there. That... That was such a, like... Deep sad moment and I didn't even play the game I yeah. just watched it play did you watch Game Grumps yes okay yeah I mean oh, yeah oh, oh. that's what I was um, that's where I was not gonna go but now that you've gone there I mean, they, also um, the reason I want to say that is because that was my favorite Game Grumps episode because yeah, the way yeah. I, I'm so appreciative to Aaron for like hyping it up right before it yeah, happened he did it perfect <laughs> he nailed it oh man it was so good and then um, what was the name of the horse uh, Agro Agro that's right Agro uh, um they uh, they were playing Dark Souls recently, and there's like a dead horse on the ground, and Danny just goes, "Oh hey, Agro!" Oh no, <laughs> no! <laughs> so there's our joke stolen directly from Game Grumps. <laughs> so, sorry. Um, They're gonna copyright us now. Mm, yeah, no, but man, those guys are brilliant. I I don't I don't get people who hate Danny 
because Whoa. I think he's hilarious. John he's Tron, the game crumbs. And, and honestly, John Tron is not um, anyone I, I disliked either. I loved the early episodes of Game Grumps, but dude wanted to go. You know, he wanted to focus on his show, and I totally respect that. And uh, and Danny came in, and Danny brought this wonderful comedic style. Is it the exact same? Absolutely not. Is it a perfectly valid fill-in? Yes, because he brings his own great new things to the group. So, I I don't understand people who complain about that. I think uh, it's sad that JonTron isn't doing it, but whatever, man. Plus, now with Grumpcade, we could maybe someday, maybe? That's the dream. That's the dream. I'd love to get a JonTron Danny Sexbang pair up on Grumpcade. Would that not be the most amazing combination? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Just imagine the two of them trying to sing together. Oh, that would be wonderful. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, you've got one more try to get up this. Otherwise, and it takes a whole lot of try in just to get up this mill. All right, I got one more try. Did you, did you see what I did there? What did you say? Oh, God, never mind. <laughs> you, I'm way more you... Oh, that's a thing that can kill me? That can kill me? That oh, can't kill me. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Oh, this will be safe. Bleh. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Level complete grade A plus! Mm, no. Okay, and I totally lied about you having one more turn, didn't I? Uh, but don't don't start the next. Oh, All right. oh, 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 oh. Well, oh. just die. <laughs> just like real life. Just like the sentiments between us in real life. Yeah, just die, Joe. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't talking to your character. Well. All goodbye right, forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we'll replace Joe with J Danny, Danny Sexbang <laughs> Sex next time on Instant Replay Live. You really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf?